So coach, obviously when you prepare for an opponent you haven't seen, it's kind of a unique challenge. Um, how are you guys uh, getting familiar with the Ontario Reign? Well, we've talked to some uh, coaches throughout the league and then basically most of it's done on video. I mean, the video doesn't lie. You get, we, we talk to scouts, other teams about personnel, um, some of the tendencies individuals have. Uh, we've seen some of these guys last year. We look back on some of our reports from last year on, on, on the way we prepared for them as individuals. And then as a team, that, like I said, the video tells the whole story. And then we pick through it and, and try to cut that down. The cutting room floor is full, you know what I mean? Like you only have so much time to show them. And, you know, so we got a real good feel on how they're going to play. And, 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 you know, the most important thing for us is to get to our game right away. What do they do well? What, what is, uh, for our fans, the scouting report for Ontario in a broad sense? Well, they 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 defend real well. I mean, uh, they did last year. They're def the defending champions. I think you look at um, their goals against second best in the league. Um, that's for a reason. They, they they get above the puck real well. They track hard. Their D zone coverage is tight. They got a bit bunch of big body D that can keep you away from the front of the net. Uh, that's their that's their strength. Um, you know, that being said, we got to use a little bit of our, our speed and quickness and skill to, to get around the ice. And, you know, that's kind of the, what we pride ourselves on all year is playing fast, being able to play physical, and, and, and our details are going to have to be tight at the other end because they're a patient team and, the, and they're a stingy team. In the regular season, uh, both you guys and those guys had great penalty kills, and your penalty kill was huge in Game 6 to get you guys to this point. Uh, how are the specialty teams going to factor into this series, and, and what do you guys need to take advantage of to, to make that a positive area for your team? Yeah. For, well, first of all, we got to be more disciplined. They, they're the least penalized team in the, in, the, in the league in the playoffs, one of the least penalized teams in, you know, when it comes to minor penalties in, in the regular season. So you, you, you're not going to get a bunch of chances on the power play. It's that simple. You, 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 and, and they're killing it at an unbelievable rate. So you can't count on power plays to win you the game. So you got to get it done five on five. I think that's what we focus on. That being said, when you do get an opportunity, you got to try to make it count. So getting to the front of the net, finding shooting lanes they do a lot of blocking of shots um, real tight in their details you know, you're gonna have to have a little second effort and, and you gotta get dirty around the paint if you want to score against these guys plenty of storylines on both sides and the goal crease with uh, Peter Budai doing what he did this year and both Corpy and Anton factoring into the second round um, how do you feel about the goaltending situation heading into the third round with both those guys having played now yeah, I, li I like it. I think it's good for us. I mean, we've got two guys that, that are capable guys going out and winning us a series. So those are good decisions. I think whenever you have depth at a position, that's always a positive thing, and that's the way we look at it.